Zeppelin thing just feels like watching a slow motion car crash. How do you know you're being patient and not just- You don't know, Morty. You build a framework that asks the right questions. Does the edge still exist? Are the assumptions invalidated? Is the drawdown within historical bounds? If not, why would you flinch? If yes, why would you cling? So, how do I even tell if an edge is real and not just some lucky line on a chart I fell in love with? You disprove your own idea before the market does. Out of sample tests, walk forward analysis, regime checks. If your model only wins in 2017 because crypto went burr burr, it's not an edge, it's cosplay. Ask yourself across different volume regimes, does the signal still punch above randomness? Okay, but what about vibes? Like when everyone's freaking out, shouldn't I trust my gut a little? Wubba lubba no Morty, your gut wants sugar and certainty. Markets offer volatility and ambiguity. Tell me this, could you define your discretionary gut rules so another Morty could follow them? If not, is it decision making or just adrenaline? Jeez, so how do you deal with fear without pretending you're fearless? Position sizing Morty. Fear shrinks when your risk per trade can't vaporize your soul. If a single loss feels existential, your sizing is cosplay too. Why worship conviction when you can worship survival? But what if the model stops working for real? Like structural change, not just bad luck. How do you know when to kill it? Track leading indicators of decay, rising slippage, crowding, edge converging to zero, correlation drift, breakdown in residuals, set tripwires before the pain spikes. Here's a question. If you had to justify this system to a brutal, honest future version of yourself, what metrics would you show? I guess I'd want to see robust tests, a live track record, controlled variants, and a plan for when to pause. But when do you pause without turning every red day into an excuse? Pre-commitment, Morty. Pause rules defined in advance. Max drawdown, days in drawdown, anomaly flags. No vibes, just thresholds. Ask yourself if you couldn't touch the model for six months, would you still want to own these rules? That's scary and kind of freeing. So is the real flex in trading not predicting the future, but surviving long enough to benefit when you're slightly right? Exactly. Small edges, big discipline. Compounded boredom beats dramatic genius. What are you optimizing for? Dopamine or durability? Oh, okay. Then what's one habit I can start today that future me will thank me for? Journal every decision with the rule you followed, the alternative you rejected, and the emotion you felt. If your story and your stats diverge, fix the story. Now Morty, are you building a casino for your ego or a machine that mints probabilities? I, I want the machine, Rick, even if it's boring. Good. Boring builds empires. Exciting builds cautionary tales. Now are you ready to stick to the plan when the next red wave hits, or do you still want that reverse lossinator? No, I'll take rules over rage, but uh, can we at least backtest a panic proof of fire? Sure, Morty. It's called discipline, and it scales. 